Lynn Cullen live in one minute. Welcome to Lynn Cullen Live at PGHCityPaper.com. Email your questions and comments to Lynn at PGHCityPaper.com. Okay, okay. I kept telling the clock I'm not ready, I'm not ready, but it kept going. That sounds like a dying person on their bed. I, I'm not, not ready, ready to go. No, <laughs> no, not now. I'm not ready. This is That was Tom Sokolowski. Good morning. Erstwhile head of... Yes. That's right. We just have erstwhile. Erstwhile, and right. And no. It doesn't have a no. No, the word, no. The word was sometimes. We so, talked about that. Oh, but that. that's not right. No, no. I looked it up, and it's a very archaic form. Of erstwhile. Erstwhile or form. But sometime would mean that, like you know, maybe on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I said. But I looked it up because this person challenged me, who wrote this, and sure enough, it's a very archaic form, which means former. Okay. Oh, is that? Did I? Am I printing out a, a tome again? Damn it! We're getting well, the, the book of Leviticus printed. Damn uh, it! I just. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry. Another they're tree all, dies, Miss huh? Cullen. They're all blank. And oh, they're all blank. Oh, well, at least you can reuse the paper. You know, every single one is. Blank. Oh no, with the th- edge side. Well. Well, you can still put them up flat. All right. Okay. All right. The, okay. So it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Try it again. No, I'm not trying it again. <laughs> Technology. The bane of our modern existence. Well, can't existence. live with it, can't live without it, can't, jeez. Well, that's sort of like, goes back to our poop story. Oh, please. No, 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 I won't even go through all the, but we're talking about something, and someone found out that well, it's having like a, fecal, a parasite. Well, it's a fecal transplant. Yeah, well, it's similar to that. No, it's exactly that. Well, no, 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 but, the, well, no, it's exactly that, but it was the deal that things, because we're so hygienic in this Western world, that sometimes little parasites, bugs, bacteria can be very useful. In this case, it was useful against asthma and respiratory um, yeah. allergies. Right, right. And, and yet the idea of taking a, a hookworm to do that, it's something you would say, oh, God, that's people like babies in Zimbabwe who are dying of malnutrition because of hookworm. Now, strange you should say Zimbabwe because it is in the news. Uh, are you aware of why Zimbabwe is in the news? No. <laughs> Just asking. <laughs> why is Well, because Zimbabwe? I wonder, you know, when you're, you're, you're you were casting around for a, a an African country. And eth- I mean like a, a like a faraway exotic place, yes, that, right? Yes, and yes, you yes. came up with um for some reason, I often say Botswana. Oh, Botswana. Botswana. It's a chewy But Zimbabwe, country. which yes. used to be Rhodesia. Rhodesia, yes. Yeah, right. uh-huh. um, yeah. They, they Why you know, you know you, can you think of who the head of that country is? Because he's been the head for a million years. Oh, well, years. no. I, I was going to say, you were talking about Mugabe. Yeah. I thought he was another country. I know he's running for no, office. No, no. They had the it election. They had the election and the and guy. And the run off? No, hmm. well, the guy, is the, his challenger is already saying that it was just... Of course. The whole thing now, should now be he'll validated. Be in jail. Who knows? You know. You know he will. I mean, that man is dreadful. <sighs> Although I did love it. There was a picture of he and his wife going to the polls. They each had the most outrageous Outfit. fabric, mm-hmm. which was sort of like kente cloth, traditional African uh, tie-dyed cloth, but with his picture embellished with oh. stripes. Oh. And oh. both of them are of... Ample shape, shall we say, <laughs> and wearing these thingamajibs are really crazy. But well, he's, although he's a, a smart, nasty. he's a trim well, little guy. Yeah, yeah, he is Mugabe. Well, 
He's like 120. He looks. Oh, he's not that old. He looks he's 60. 82 or something. Yeah, he, I mean, it's just. But no, he's an evil. He's one evil of those guy. classic too mean to die. Yeah, really. Well, um, I, I managed to start the show kind of in a halting manner and, and didn't go nuts because the pirates, and I know you're like Potter who was sitting here yesterday. You don't give a damn. I don't. But I got to tell you. No, I mean, I think it's nice for the it's city. It's unbelievable. Oh, don't don't get start car- your nice with the city. <clears throat> don't get carried Four away. Four in a row from the Cardinals. Oh, 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 oh. oh, please. Some guys who can hit a ball <laughs> and catch a ball being paid tremendous amounts of money. So Here's the can thing. sit there and <clears throat> eat popcorn and Oh, belch. honestly, I, you elitist <laughs> jerk. No, I'm not an elitist jerk. Yes, you jerk. are. You look down your nose at people who get into sports. No, I don't. I'm yes, just saying. No, 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 no. I'm just saying the level. To enjoy sports is very good. I don't say that's bad. <laughs> but to be given this level of... What, where I can't wait? And well, no, I'm not doing that, but I can't wait till the are. next game. I mean, I, all I do is watch. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Oh, okay. Get a life, Miss Cone. No. Oh. And here's what I was really thinking about this last night. I think this is the healthiest kind of outlet that human beings have invented for our desire to be part of a group. And to mm-hmm. identify as a team of some sort, as a tribe, as a, because I, I, I often note how I think it's just so human that you want to identify with your own, and this leads to trouble always because then you fear the other, the other right. or you keep them out. And I was thinking that, you know, if you can take a lot of that need and that emotion and place it in a safe arena. Yeah, all right. Then it's so it's like you have the same kind of thrill of belonging and of seeing your the guys carrying your colors triumph over somebody. I th- I think that's why people get into it in a in in a way. It sounds too. like a bad dissertation. No, but but, <laughs> but if it weren't for that, I mean I. I'm not saying rather than beat the St. Louis Cardinals on in baseball that we would go to war with St. Louis. No, no, of course. <laughs> but I think a lot of the same kinds of. The, well, no, let me let me say this. The one thing I was saying about the, the the Pirates is that I mean for the local fans is that through thick and thin the fans seem to follow them. And, you know, they've not been a winner. Well, some team. have. No, 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 but that seems like, I mean, because the museum was so close, they always had, you know, like reasonably good attendance, even in really dreadful years. Mm-hmm. I mean, now, of course, it's better because they're winning. Uh, and I respect that because it's a hometown team and you, you follow them. And I think <clears> on that level, I'd accept your your thesis. As, and it's a way to feel pride. Because, well, but is it pride when they're But losing? it doesn't matter if Oh, no, but see, this is, it, where I, this is where I get kicked about sports, uh, is the fact of, as I say, sports is good, it's good. If I did sports, I'd be thinner. But it, when it gets to this business of the winning and the winning and the... Uh, that's creepy. Because let us go back to the Greek. For the Greeks, the idea was, and the Dramatic Greek, it says, kalos agathos, which means what? to be well fitted out to be, you know, uh, what uh, buff or what's the expression? Yeah, Brick, buff. Buff, but also to be well thought of in the mind that it's one, yeah, and the other. Whereas now one doesn't give a shit if these people, as long as they're hitting the ball and catching the ball and winning, if they're rapists or drug dealers. Oh no 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 oh, no yes, no no! Yes, yes, that yes, is yes. not true. And and oh yes, it this is. This team is squeaky clean. We have. Have you no, ever heard of anything? In the, you, no, I'm talking gonna, about sports in general. I'm not All right. The well, no, but we no. don't have any roided out characters. But, but the, and stuff. Sorry, well, in some of the other sports we do. But um, but I just think that's the point. The sense of winning almost at all costs, and and the money's put to winning, all and right, the gambling right. well, towards winning. You know, maybe it's just it's a genetic thing, and you don't have it. No, my father was a great sports well, person. But but in the sense of he enjoyed it, he never got into this business of. Uh, I mean, he was elderly at the end of his life. But he would say, oh, what these players make, those outfits. Um, 
Well, you see, they're the both is, trim. That neither of them are heavy. Well, the picture I saw, it looked, they looked fat. PJ sent us pictures of uh, the, the lovely garb the, that I was talking President about. President Mugabe and his wife, but they're both thin. It's like Victorian horror vacui. It's pretty horrific. <laughs> yeah. He looks like a... Uh, Oh, I wish we could share this. And he's wearing a baseball cap on top of everything with the same patterns. It's grotesque. Um, no, but let me, I want to go back after the fashion bit. Okay, go ahead. My father, you know, he would say, hey, you know, the players who played in the 20s and that, you know, they didn't make any money. And probably if you, if you would compare them to the players today, they're probably better players. But these oh, people are paid so much oh, money and are man. so, uh, oh, there's our dear friend. Will you just tell your dumb story? What dumb story? You keep getting okay. waylaid. No, but the whole point of saying sport, to equalize it with a, a sound mind and a sound body. That's what the Roman sense said. But but the whole notion of now it becomes paying the star and treating them like something when they win. It is true. It's entertainment. It's a form of entertainment. And we live in a totally entertainment culture. And of course you're going to pay the No, but there's something dollar. about sport. A movie, a movie star can be sleazy in that, but oh, Mickey. Mantle or oh what? Derek Jeter, whoever he is. What's the difference? I don't know. I think sport always has this weirdness. <laughs> I don't know. I just I don't know. Maybe because I was. I like, think it's something weird where some people have it and some people you just don't get it. It's like okay, you fine. like maybe you don't like uh, cats or dogs or you know you know how people just have. No, I don't think it's the same thing. You don't. No. You think it's coming from a higher place. No, I'm not saying that either. Oh, you were speaking Greek a minute ago. Because it's pertinent. <laughs> okay, we'll stop. I mean, because I just All have right. a little bit of Greek. Does that, that doesn't make me elitist. It makes me oh, happy. No, it doesn't. It makes you... Sa- okay. So now maybe you know... Jess, do you know anyone who speaks Greek? I don't know anybody. Well, no one speaks Greek. demonic Greek. But anyway. But demonic Greek? Demotic. That was the, oh. well, not modern Greek. <laughs> Honey, who's demonic about the Oh, well, like demos? Is that the same? I'm not sure about that. Probably would make sense. It would seem to be the same root, but who knows? I'm not. All right, let's. <laughs> <laughs> Ray writes. Yes, Ray, our dear friend. Tom, as usual, could not be more correct in his definition of erstwhile. That's what we're talking about. Except that it is not so archaic. <laughs> talking about archaic things. It is perfectly acceptable to say the erstwhile chief of police, that, excuse me, I spit, when discussing Nate, Haper, Nate Harper. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you're drunk. <laughs> Miss Collin is I'm falling drunk apart. I'm on bucko mania. Yeah. <laughs> I've gone over the deep end. <clears throat> In a bucket. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it is correct to say the erstwhile chief of police. Yes. It is derived from ear, air. Right. As in the more archaic, air you sin again, meaning before. Right, right. Um, oh, era plus while. Go Bucks, Ray, you're so fabulous. Uh, <laughs> He's a true fan. No, I know, I know. I love. That. See, he, he, Ray, I think is a totally Renaissance man that he can love sports and know and be about, erudite and be erudite. Yes. And I'm sure he's not there vomiting beer all over the person next to him. I hope you're not, Ray. You can't be. That is something. <laughs> that is a con- that that is something. Oh, I wanted to actually say it's an observation that Please. I've made a number of times while whilst whilst whilst, whilst at a Buckle pirate game. game. Yes, <laughs> and that is it. Even though. You would think the fan base for the Pirates is the same as the fan base for the Steelers, and I'm willing to bet that most Pirate fans are Steeler fans. Mm. The They're more abstemious. The the crowd the is totally different in feel really? and, in kind. Oh, and it is not drunk. It is not obnoxious. You don't get beer spilled on you. A uh, lot of families, a lot of kids, a hmm. lot of, I mean, older people. Well, you know, that's very interesting. It is so much of a that nicer is, crowd That is a very interesting point because you say, can say the same thing. I mean, I hear, because I don't go to rock concerts either. But isn't it un- interesting, you know, this recent to-do, what, what was the band? Was it Kenny Chesney or whoever was here yeah, recently? Yeah, yeah, in the yeah, big, yeah, yeah. 
how certain acts, the same thing, they're known to be drinkers and whatever, and other acts are far more, even though they're both popular bands, whatever, but they're not, and what is it about that music or one sport that makes the, those people more surly? Well, it becomes, I guess, a culture, right? Yeah, it, oh, yeah, it, very it, much so. So it's a culture. Oh, I agree with you there. But I, I have never, I mean, and I've gone to a gazillion games at uh, Pirate Games, and I have never been troubled by drunks. Well, that's nice. Or, yeah, and it's that's just a good always thing. It pleasant. should be there to enjoy, yeah. and then once it's seventh inning stretch, to the take me out to the bar. And even that's adorable. Everybody oh, that really cute. does agree. get up. Everybody, you know, you see and guys, and they're all sick. It's, oh, God, it's so creepy. You know, the guy who used to play the organ uh -huh, uh -huh. is dead. Oh. So rather than having, they have him, oh, it's, he's it's, still playing. Oh, dear. He's dead. But he's still playing, and he's still playing it so maddeningly slowly that I can't stand it. I can't stand it in the crowd. Now anymore. that to me is creepy. Get another organist. <laughs> oh no, they, no one's going to have an organist anymore. Right? Well, there are it's all going to be yes, but now it would be all on you know computerized. Oh, You're not going to pay somebody. But or by the he organ. <laughs> plays so slow. I mean, that should be take me after the ball yes. game. Take. Out to the crowd. That's what it should be like. It's, yes, right. Take me <laughs> it is like a Slow dirge. Motion. It's <laughs> a dirge. And at the end, when you want to just end it, it's like he's all the crowd is always a full measure ahead because <laughs> they is. know what it right, should be. They know be, the bouncy rhythm not, should be. Oh God. And you know, when you do it, they put up the, the oh, words. Oh, the bouncing ball thing? And, no, it's not a bouncing oh. ball. It's a bouncing Eaton Park cookie. Oh! <laughs> I won't even go there. <laughs> oh! I hate those cookies. <laughs> All right, we'll see. I think they should turn them into, you know how they have for bottles of medicine, you know, for children who always want to try something when they're little, that they have a face. Mr. Yuck. That, with, oh, I, okay. <laughs> That's why I wanted to put that tongue there. Mr. Yuck. You know, he, he's a national figure, Mr. Yuck. Oh, really? Well, and that's a he, very clever idea. Well, it came out of Pittsburgh. Oh, really? Huh. Yes. Yes, Mr. Yuck is a Pittsburgher. It'd be a, a design firm created? No, I'm not sure who created it, but I, I, I and I... I'm I'm reluctant to say it came out of UPMC because I don't like giving them credit for anything, but it might have. <laughs> might no, but it was really clever that, that that was something that a little child would get. Yeah. It was so Ick. Yuck. Ick. Yuck. 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 Yeah. Ick. Right. Exactly. <laughs> oh, and yeah, I still have I still come across bottles in my uh, you know like under the sink or down in the basement that have. Mr. Yuck stickers put on. And now, what was the, its vintage? I mean, when was it first created? I have no idea. 20 years ago? I used to read my son a little book about it. It was a coloring oh. book, and I'm sure that told me. But that's where I found well, out. Well, that has to be the 20-ish years ago. I don't know. Well, when you give me Oh, my son age, is, yes, yeah. over 20. That's true. Anyway, what the hell are we talking about? Nothing. What the, <laughs> the Greeks would have called parerga. We will go there. <laughs> Shit. No, 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 no. What? Um, incidentals. Sort oh, of. incidentals. So, um, latest news is that uh, what's his name, Snowden, is out of. Oh, the airport. He's out of the airport, ladies and gentlemen. He has exited the facility. Oh, I remember the one was it last week. It said <laughs> he hasn't been able to leave the airport, but they gave him a change of clothing. Do you believe it? And that that was a one month after he was there. Yeah, they gave yeah. him a change of clothing and some reading material. Did you see what they gave him? Oh yeah, what Russians? was it? Crime, Crime and punishment. punishment. I thought that was clever. Oh, well, so haven't funny. once been in that airport yeah. for or twice actually. That's Ooh, punishment enough. And the, yeah. like, the food was. <laughs> oh, I can't even imagine. Bad Blinny. But anyway, so what have they? <laughs> what is the situation? Well, uh, he's been granted. He has been granted uh, one year. Oh, of, one year. A, oh. of uh, asylum in Russia, and uh, so at least he's whatever. Well, now, all right. Here's right. The, I think I don't know if you might have talked about this yesterday or the day before, but what are your feelings on um, what's the guy's name? Manning. The, Manning. I mean, because that's. Well, I was have talking some about that yesterday. Oh, you were. Yeah, okay. I well, was. then let's not be redundant then. I said I thought he was a little creepy weasel, and um, and uh, Potter came to his defense because Potter said he had been a 
creepy weasel too. Mm. Potter. You mean as a child? Yes. <laughs> oh. He identified with him. Oh, okay. That when they said the little bit I read was that yeah, he had been a troubled and sort of yeah, geeky yeah, yeah. guy. Yeah. And, well, I mean, he's yeah. closeted. He's all, you know, it's all screwed up. You know, he's gay. Oh, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You know, he's like five feet tall. He's gay. He's a little <laughs> odd. He's kind of gay. Are you now being... He was born to be picked on, and he apparently was. Oh, God, that sounds like a title of a biography. Born That's to be it. picked on. So, guys, you guys who still have not subscribed to Daily News Nuggets, I'm looking at a picture Beautiful from photograph. yesterday. It's unbelievable. And um, every issue of Daily News Nuggets has at least one extraordinary picture. That's something that could be out of a Well, a this horror doesn't movie. even look real. And it, it turns out that this picture, it is a picture taken, I believe, in Greece. Yeah, it says off the Greek Oh, okay. Um, and it was taken in 1999. But it is, it is of four water spouts emerging from the same cloud bank. They're right in a row, like a. Well, they parade. almost look like a water spout. I wish we wouldn't have known that term, but it almost looks like a small tornado. Well, they are. Like, oh, okay, they are. They are. But it's really in the colors. It's be- just deep, unbelievably inky blue beautiful, and, and they say glorious. that seeing one water spout in a lifetime is considered incredible. Um, but. This, like four in a row. Uh, wow. It's like the Dione quintuplets. <laughs> right, right. That, that <laughs> I was unusual. old enough to remember that. But I have something else, and I wish, here again, I wish I could show this to you. There is a picture that uh, Daily News Nuggets had the other day, which is of a car, a Fiat. Isn't that interesting? Now, I want, see, look at Tom, look at this. Tom, have you had it's any? made out of people or human figures. That is correct. It's like slaves, yes? No, it's not slaves. Well, it's just look, human I'm, beings. No, but aren't they sort of bound? No, no, no. They're oh. to, they have to. This okay. guy took models and painted them the proper colors and whatever they would need to be, to create a fiat, a, a car. Oh, this is actually. It's real. Oh, I thought he had just drawn this. Oh, oh no, 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 no. It is absolutely Amazing. You know what it looks like? I can't remember his name, but you probably, this can, and your listeners probably can conjure this up. There was, um, I think he was he was from Perugia, I mean, an Italian 16th century painter who made these heads all made out of fruit. Oh, fruit, yes. And yes, that's the yes. same it's sort, sort of, of thing. like this. But this, that, that <clears throat> was drawn, but this, they're literally squished <clears throat> and it looks like. Um, so um, it's. The Cinque <clears throat> The models were, they're all naked, and, yeah. and they're, they're positioned in a way that they create. One guy's the bumper. absolutely create the car. That's amazing, yeah. And um, here, I, here's like a... Oh, now that gives you a yes sense, right? I, it's just... Yeah, it's really the most astonishing. The beautiful, most beautiful thing. So, yeah, ain't that art? Oh, wow. Ain't that art? Well, it's clever. I don't know it's art, but... Uh, oh, come on. Well, it's... Clever. I mean, now here. Just, that's not the the. the so the one ceiling. person is a wheel. Each a tire, person yeah. is a wheel, and they act a tire, and they actually manage to squish in there. Per, make themselves into a round right. body, a, a round thing, and then there is paint in you. Well, because if, you, if, if they take away the the, the, paint. the painting of the spokes of the wheel, the body would look more normal in its proportions. But it's there, amazing. that's just, yeah, it's, it is. Quite, if you can Google it, it's. Um, I mean, really, it is is really what, worth a say, look. It's a art? Oh, well, well, Fiat five hundred. Okay, so who the art? Oh. Um, and from Mail New Orleans Online. artist Craig Tracy. Just Never Google it. Him. It's beyond belief. It was originally, I'm at least, I'm looking at it from the Daily Mail of the UK. Mm-hmm. So treat yourself to that, since I can't share it myself. Okay, so we are totally, um, have not begun the show yet. <laughs> Le- <laughs> Lest you think we had. No, we have. No, we have not. This was sort of like a um, amuse bouche. What is that? Uh, two characters in search of a. Oh yeah, the an the, author the or a playwright. Play. Or yeah. What is it? Uh, yeah, two two, s- two actors. Two, in no, search no, two characters in, in search, search of, of an a, of author. A, of an author, I think it is. Yeah. Well, Pirelli, it's like Pirantella. here we are, two people in you know two talk show people in search of a show. 
That's how I feel. It's like Seinfeld. Well, I think that's been mentioned before already. (laughs) Only only he manages to make it interesting. We're just being blah, blah, blah. blah, And the interesting thing about it was I would bet that for the, what, eight, nine years of the show, it was quite a long time, that at least 10, if not 20, um... What would you say? Well, bits of jargon came out of it that people still use, like regifting, or yada yada, or yada yada, or so many of them, and it would just be picked up. Uh, PJ writes about baseball music. I think Tom should take up playing the music for the Pirates. <laughs> he could speed up the tempo. The Pirates could run a promotion for people to come and see Tom Sokolowski and his swinging organ. <laughs> I don't know. Did you mean that as a dude? Yes, of time course time? he <laughs> did. Of course he did. <laughs> I can't imagine oh, me naked look. and my swinging organ. Here's like the, somebody who the, agrees with you. What do you call those things? You. A metronome. Here's somebody who agrees with you. Aaron says, regarding sports, Tom is dead on. I'll give the current Pirates a pass because I know nothing about them, but not the National Felons League. It's just foul, not for me at all, but it's fine for other people, I guess, if they're okay with it. I oh, stop guess. being a Luddite, <laughs> which you're not. She's Lynn Cullen today is trying to pass for normal. <laughs> you needn't have laughed. Now, I, I, I worry about this subject line because somebody has sent us something that says more current, as if we're off in the, you know, oh. in the ether. Oh, um... Hmm? Oh, we're, we're talking about uh, mosquito. This, he's talking about mosquito larvae in Singapore. Oh. Apparently, <laughs> apparently, them mosquitoes are in Singapore too. You know, we've got what mosquitoes? Asiatic. Where else? Oh, would they blah, blah, be? Blah, 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 blah. now we got them. Oh, in was that a racist? <laughs> <laughs> oh, them mosquitoes and all those and yellow people. And they should be staying in Singapore. Yeah, right, exactly. What they doing over here? <laughs> That's what I said. Why did all every time an insect is a plague, we, we mm, make yeah, a point of saying it's from someplace else. Yeah, right. That's true. Right. But really, they've been finding they found some. Asian well, I was trying flu to think of all the things. Stuff. I mean, like you know, you don't want the Hong Kong flu. That's true. An Asiatic mosquito right. bite, an Africanized bee attack. So try <laughs> yeah, right. stop and think of a, is there a, a, a scourge of some sort uh, that has a European uh, oh, or an American, or American name. name? Oh, well, what was the one? What are we not remembering? What was the one? What was the, what was the thing where it was the uh, bacteria in the heating ducts? What was that called? Legionnaires. Legion, well, that's not. Well, that's not yeah, it. Yeah, but it's not Asia. No. Um, no, but I'm just saying, can you think of... Like we're the Chicago so, flu. You yeah, know, we're yeah. so quick to point out that these nasty killing things are always from someplace else and... Well, I mean, but to be fair... Is that our xenophobia? No, 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 no. Yeah, well, so could, what happens when be. one of our bugs oh, well, goes okay, over there? Well, but part what of, do they no, call? No, 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 no. But part of it is so many of those countries have far larger bits of like wildlife and things of that nature where mosquitoes can breed. I mean, where, I mean, how far do you have to go out of Pittsburgh to get out of concrete and what have you? I mean, we don't have the great swamp lands and that sort of thing. So. Mosquitoes don't need much. That's true. No, you're they right don't there. need they a damn you a, thing. A cup of water. They said a, thim- a thimble full yeah, of water. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, thanks, Susie. Susie tells us since Mr. Yuck began in the early 1980s at Children's Hospital. Oh. Well, before they were affiliated with UPMC. Ha-ha. Now, why say affiliated? You mean before they were gobbled up yeah, whole. <laughs> <laughs> that was very funny because I've been in Pittsburgh 17 years. And I just remember at the early period of it, I forgot what was a hospital. I had to go for a test or something. And someone said, oh, yeah, that was a really great hospital. And every hospital that was either like Jewish or church affiliated, yeah. got gobbled up, yeah. every sort of regional yeah. like right. Braddock and that. Right. And all of a sudden, it's Mothra you know, with Jeff, uh, what's his name there at the head? Romoth. Uh, Romoth, that's right. <clears throat> uh, back to Singapore, um, Bree writes, he just got back from Hanoi, and so he's a little bit behind listening to the show, but he did hear us talking about the Asian tiger mosquito yesterday, and you see, they don't call it the Asian mosquito mm. in Asia. Yeah, right. They don't call it that. They call it something I'm not sure how to pronounce. Yeah. 
What the? Oh, yeah. Um, oh, that's interesting. I don't know. I don't know. So there was something in the Wall Street Journal today about how to guard against uh, mosquitoes, and they said a that body a lot, they said a lot of the stuff that's out now, you know, like foggers and stuff, or you can put something that sprays like off has something yeah, that like, you, lets yeah, out right. a little. It's like an air freshener. But you're not supposed to, and I'm sure a lot of people do this. It says don't have it around food or drink. Well, the reason a pe- lot of people want to stay outside in the summer yeah, is because they're true. sitting around yeah, with a beer and eating a and pizza. drinking. Right. And they well, probably have I always food say, food as I learned when I went to dangerous. Australia many years ago, skin so soft. That yeah. body cream that, that Avon puts out. Not Avon. Yeah, Avon. Yeah. And I remember I was that in the outback. That's a great repellent. And there was all these, you know, yeah. alligator bones. And then I said, what the hell is that? And it's, I don't know, whatever's in it. Somehow, repels mosquitoes. That's right. And it's cheap. That's and right. And it doesn't have DDT for that, your, that's your skin. That's right. It's, that's right. Why don't I have some? You need Avon. As I got bit last night, I'm still lady. scratching. Oh, because yeah. you have trees near you. I live in a high rise, so I don't have mosquitoes. But the way you said trees with such <laughs> contempt. <laughs> such contempt. God. Baseball Jeez. players and trees. trees. And particularly the. Uh, What's wrong with you? I'm just an urbanite. Dear God <laughs> in heaven. Okay. I love cement. I love cement. <laughs> We're going to take a break. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I need one. She needs one. In a minute. <laughs> Stick around for more with Lynn Cullen Live after this. Go to BergBargains.com for great deals on gift cards from your favorite local restaurants, bars, museums, attractions, and shows. This week, great deals on gift cards to Siva, Cadillac Ranch, and Luke Woolies. Supplies are limited. BergBargains.com, Pittsburgh's best bargains. BergBargains.com. Confusion ever someone or have sudden... Have you ever had sudden confusion, trouble speaking, or understanding someone? It could be one of the five signs of stroke. Sudden weakness or numbness of the face, arm, or leg. Sudden trouble with vision in one or both eyes. Suddenly having trouble walking or difficulty with balance or a sudden intense headache that comes out of nowhere don't wait call 911 immediately time lost is brain lost find out more at power to end stroke.org brought to you by the american heart association american stroke association and the ad council you're listening to lynn cullen live at pghcitypaper.com once again here's lynn cullen (laughs) oh god (laughs) all right we are back um so, you know, I don't know. When's the last time you had um, an exchange with a police officer? You know, where... You mean being pulled over? For... Yeah, or whatever. When did you end up in the hands oh, of the law? Oh, last God. time. It's oh. been for ages. Huh? Oh, ages. Yeah, me too. I think it was... I think, if I'm not mistaken... No, 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 no. I mean, yeah, I was pulled over because my sticker was... Okay, okay. But that but was so, like six, seven years But so ago. it's odd because, you know, George Zimmerman... Right. Uh, obviously had a bit of a run-in with police and yeah, the justice okay. system yeah. uh, and then managed to escape. Um, and then almost immediately after, he's involved in this thing where he sees a car overturned, gets out, helps people get out of the oh, overturned I know car. about this. Yeah, and talks to the supervisor, <laughs> the cop. On the... <clears throat> now, like two weeks after that, he's... Pulled over again. So, I mean, it's just odd. What is he, a police magnet or something in some ways? He's pulled over in Texas and uh, for speeding. And... Has a gun. I'm and he has, has a gun. Well, And then, you know what? There's no problem with that. He has a he gun. Has a permit, he yeah. has the proper permit. Uh, he got his gun right back as soon as he was, uh, you know, uh, well, you know they, they, let whatever. go. Well, you know, the one thing there I would have to say, <coughs> over and above my feelings about what what was right or wrong with the trial, you know, the guy's got to be frightened. Yes, so having the gun, I'm not surprised. Well, but he had the gun before, did he not? Well, yeah, no, he, he did, but I'm saying ex- even more. Yeah. yeah. And he was quasi-law enforcement with his security, whatever he was. Um, so unbelievable. The cop pulled him over. There's a dash cam video, and you can hear the cop asking him, where are you headed? And you can hear Zimmerman respond, nowhere in particular. <laughs> oh, don't you love Texas, Texas, Texas vernacular? 
And then the officer asks, um, oh, he asks the officer if he, Zimmerman says nowhere in particular, hey, do you notice the name on my driver's license? Zimmerman says the Yeah, name? and the officer looks at it and he says, what a coincidence. That Now, that's weird. Why would you say that? I mean, I would read it either two ways. Like, I'm famous, number one, or infamous. Um, and then number two, hey, we're one of the same. We're guys. You maybe. Know, maybe that's what he was Why else for. would you say that? I don't know. I don't know. Because I was sort of like, hey, buddy, just like, I'm just Mr. Nobody. <laughs> It's it's odd. Unless and it's like fellowship of. I even think you know. saying nowhere in particular is an odd thing to say, because. Um, I'm just driving around on a yeah, Saturday night. Yeah, I mean, nights. like you know what. Uh, well, some people do that. They take rides, but that yeah, the way to put it, it's. Uh, I mean, it would seem when a police officer asks you that he would like a location. Nowhere in particular. I'm going that to the right sounds aid. like I'm, like I'm. I'm looking for trouble. I'm looking or, for trouble. Yeah, exactly yeah. right. So it's just an odd. Anyway, oh, people are crazy. I wish he'd just go away. <laughs> You're not the only one. Oh, man. Well, and hence the gun. I mean, many people would like to make him go away. So listen to this. Yes. Um, I want to talk about one of the Supreme Court justices. In fact, uh, oh, which one? The most liberal. Do you know who that would be? Ruth Ginsburg? Yes, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Oh, I have a funny anecdote about her. Oh, okay. Go ahead. I think I might have mentioned on the show or to you privately, I worked for an extraordinary woman who was uh, named Naomi Levine. She's now quite elderly, but still plunking around. She was the best fundraiser in New York City. We used to raise at NYU $253 million a year, and we did a capital campaign, and we raised a billion six in four years. I mean, she, of sort of particularly Jewish philanthropy, she was the man, her, her life was going on. But anyway, when Ruth Bader Ginsburg was uh, uh, announced, uh, and Naomi was a lawyer by, by training, and so we, I, we had a meeting about something, and was on a phone meeting, and then I said, oh, Naomi, because she'd always like, rah, 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 and, <laughs> and rush off to the next thing. I'd say, wait a minute. I said, what do you think of Ruth Bader Ginsburg? And she said to me, do I think she's one of the brightest names in law? Yes. Do I think she's had a very good, you know, blah, 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 blah. Yes. Yes. But would I want to be in uh, a conversation with her for two hours? I'd rather kill myself. Because <laughs> <laughs> I guess she's a little dull. Dull. But, okay. Uh, so she's not, she's not the life of the party. No. But she's a great <laughs> one of the reasons I bother her. She's a great um, opera fan. Yeah. Well, she sounds like a, just a fascinating oh, they, oh, I'm sorry, can I just can do this? There was somebody on NPR the other day. Someone, some opera composer, found out that both she and Scalia are yes. great opera fans. Yeah, and they're both uh, also very good friends, believe oh, it or yeah. not. Well, you know, sometimes they like each other. they're bright people. Um, but anyway, someone wrote an opera about the two. It's a two-character Scalia opera. Scalia and, and Ginsburg. Yeah. Oh, and cute. of course, she's the liberal, and he's the... And they played bits and pieces of it. It was cute. It was cute. Oh, that's great. So anyway, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, just a sense of uh, her as a human being. Um, I mean, I really wanting her to hang in there. She's yeah, she's sure. beaten back two horrible yeah, right, cancers. Right, 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 right. She had. And she's no kid either. No, she's eighty years old. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so she's eighty years old. She had colon cancer oh. diagnosed in ninety nine. She's still standing, and then she got the one I always think is a death sentence in two thousand and nine. Pancreatic. Pancreatic. Yeah, that's a real. And she's still... She's still... And while battling all of that, her husband of 56 years uh, died Mm. uh, two years ago. Mm. And she buried him, and the next day was on the the court at Mm. work. She's just one tough old bird, five feet tall. She's very little. She weighs under 100 pounds. Not very petite, yeah. 80 years old, and guess what? She works out with a personal trainer twice a week, 7 a.m., and she can do something I have never been able to do. She can do push-ups. Oh, my God. I'm not talking about the female push-up. You mean the real one? The female push-up where you can <laughs> well, be on your knees. Can she do the one where you push up and clap? No. <laughs> I if she could do that. No, no. The, the marine well, she push-up. might be able to yeah, do knows? that. I don't know. Well, she can even do a double clap. <laughs> she... It says here that she can do 
20 push-ups. Okay. God love her, but just trying to conjure the image of her in gym because, clothes, I just don't want to Okay, see but it. for a woman. No, that's extraordinary. Because that's women extraordinary. don't have that upper body yeah, strength. Right, that's exactly. not where our muscles well, are. Well, not only age, but all this, you know, repeated cancer and like that. I cannot believe whoa, that she can do 20 great, push-ups. I feel yeah. like I should at least be able to do one. <laughs> Jess, can you do a male push-up? Maybe two. Maybe two? I do the lady ones. Yeah. Let's well, I don't... Down. The lady ones. I mean, that's just... <laughs> you know, you either do them or you don't do them. That's I don't right. want to make a lady one. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> that defeats the whole purpose of, of trying to tell people. Here is... Okay. <laughs> now I'm going to get it. Yeah, good. Ray, Ray has written, Lynn and Tom... I am genuinely horrified by Tom's contempt for sports. His otherwise tolerant attitude could now be described as erstwhile. erstwhile. It is gone. This sort of broad dismissal is usually reserved for the arts by the great unwashed. Ah, he's turning it on you. I tend to forgive the cretinous contempt for art by dis- ascribing it to ignorance or a bad upbringing. I would hate to do the same for a sports hater. Baseball is a beautiful thing to watch, Tom. Listen to Ray. You usually okay. do listen to Ray. Oh, right? I do. Well, let's take and I already have an answer. But take this <laughs> in. It does take a little effort to learn baseball and appreciate it, but that only makes it more precious, like any great work of art. I'm sure if Tom took the time... I asked you to a game once. Did you? Years ago. And you, no, you managed it. Oh, no. (laughs) No, 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 no. no. I'm sure if Tom took the time to attend a game with a baseball fan, he would at least appreciate the love of the game, (laughs) if not the game itself. I am equally sure... (laughs) Ray, you don't talk like this, do you? (laughs) I I am equally sure Tom himself could show a neophyte how to appreciate a painting or a sculpture. As with most things, we just need... The right exposure, the right tutor. Mm-hmm. So True. maybe Fair I'll. Enough. You should go to a baseball game with Ray. Yes, maybe I will. Ray, ask him. He'll go with you. <laughs> I can't afford I didn't say to that get. For sure. Oh, and yeah. then he said, "I can't afford to get drunk at a Pirates game." <laughs> no one, no one can. can. Well, I would have one response. One response. No, you're right. Although I want to come back oh, to that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I come back to fast. But no, no, no. But I once did go. Actually, <laughs> the one time I've been to baseball here in Pittsburgh was. Uh, with the old um, stadium, and I went with, of, of all people, John um, Shulman, who he is the owner of Caliban Books, but a great avid baseball fan, and I still didn't enjoy it. No, it was very interesting. I mean, if I like sports, when I do like sports, that have more speedy action. I just find baseball or, way too much. Yeah, wait. I mean, it's just, it's only less boring than uh, cricket, which is all that waiting, 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 running well, back and like forth. Well, it's like cricket. I mean, well, in that it's, there's a batter and a... Yeah, yeah right, I mean, right, 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 like right, right, right. Cricket right. in that regard. But no, I, I want to go back to this. It's not that I hate sports. I hate... Because I think the physicality is good. I want to go back to this. I just think it is the whole, and I appreciate, remember we talked about I, by one of my favorite words, sprezzatura, the, the, the nonchalant way of making something difficult look easy. So a batter who can throw the, uh, hit the ball, throw the ball, is something I greatly appreciate. Call her. It's a baseball Hey, batter, Tom. Sure. Hey. I, hey, I, so here's the deal. I, I couldn't agree more with Tom. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I I was born and raised. My my life suffered because I was my my childhood was so focused on sports. I was a very good athlete. My father played for the Cleveland Indians. Hmm. Um, I lettered all my all my years in high school. All that rigmarole. I cannot stand organized sports. Wait a minute. In particular You're... professional. Your father was a professional player. My father played for the Cleveland Indians. No. Yes. What position? Uh, he was a first baseman and a pitcher. Oh my! Which was the downfall of his sports career because he wasn't particularly great at either one, but mm. played both. Okay, so why do you hate? Is it does that have something to do with your hatred, your father? 
Oh, no, absolutely not. He played baseball. I was not a good baseball player. Um, I played many other sports, ran track, did things like that, and I was very good at them. But, no, my mine comes from the – and, I, you know, I love things now like bocce, <laughs> lawn bowling. Yeah. Things like that that are very um, – they're physical – but they're very relaxed. Anybody of any age can play them. Mm-hmm. Um, I cannot stand, you know, grown men walking around wearing the name of another grown man on the back of their shirt. <laughs> Why oh, would so any grown and, you know? And most of those guys would claim that that's queer if someone, if I walked around wearing. Einstein's name on the back of mine, or <laughs> on the back Touché. of mine, which is I, I would much prefer to see people be exultant and hold up PhDs and mm. things like that. You know, I understand, and I, you know, I don't understand the fascination with professional baseball, in particular, in the America's pastime and everything. Um, but yeah, I, I am right, and you know, so I played sports through all this. this is PJ, by the way. So now I'm an artist. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And I've kind of come full circle. I have to train myself to think in ways other than sports, although the physicality still has a major part in my in my artwork. But mm-hmm. um, yeah, I just I it drives me crazy. It drives me absolutely nuts when I I do like the I do the one thing I do like about sports and professional sports is the fact that anything can happen. Okay, you, know, you come well. down to the wire, and you oh, they, yeah, could, right, right. they could score suddenly and win true, the game true, after they've true, been true. losing the whole time. You know that 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 aspect, anything being able. to Well, happen anything can anything. happen, like the Pirates taking four out of you know four out of five, or maybe five out of five from the Cardinals is in that category. And you know, I watched I watched that second game <clears throat> in honor of my mother, who was a little old hunky woman who loved to do nothing more. Then iron clothes and, and watch to the, the Pirates yeah. okay. on television. She absolutely loved it. I watched that second game in her honor, and I actually enjoyed it just thinking about how much <coughs> how happy she, she would have be been yes. if she were still alive. You're a good yeah. son, PJ. Yes. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Okay, Thank bye. You. And I want to make one more comment on that. And this is partly, you know, I think, well, I'm sure it's much, much part of my uh, the center of my dis- my my dislike. I was never good at sports. Right. And, you know, I'm a gay person. I knew it from, you know, very early on, not what it was, et cetera. And I think the, the part about it, but I was forced. I remember my mother would always say, now if you go and do what the boys want now, then maybe they'll go and do what you, but it never happened. No. So I so played baseball, you, no, yeah. but I was always the last one picked when you're picking yeah. up sides. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it wasn't dreadful. It didn't move my life. But it was, you know, every, every day. Definitely another, not a positive. You know, d- not a positive. And and then it's up over and above the whole sexuality thing, but it's sort of like if you're not good at sports, it doesn't matter if you're a great mathematician or you can do Scrabble better than anyone. <laughs> it's just it's just overlaid with too much valid validation for other things other than just, hey, if you're a great athlete, that's a talent. Like a great painter, a great musician, a great gospel singer, it's a talent. But it's no more than that. Okay, okay. That's, so that's you my just point. you think too much is made of it. It's too much of it is okay. made. Okay. And especially But I think to the because other it side, carries all that other stuff that we just love having uh, a knight uh, carrying our colors or a team carrying our well, colors. Well, but let me make one other, I, I really one other analogy from my, my youth. I remember Daniel Castellas. Heaven knows what. Last I heard, he was living in North Vietnam or something. But uh, nice guy. And his mother, Seal Castellas. And I was never in, in Little League, but my other friends were. So I would go to some of their games. And I remember Seal, who otherwise was a rather nice woman, sitting in the bleachers on Michigan Avenue for the Little League. And when Daniel would come up, and he was good at sports. He wasn't great, but he was good. She would be sitting there, like, holding rosaries every time again, praying, and like, oh, please. Please let him get a, a, a double. Oh, please, that you would look. And then if he did get one, she would get up and scream and yell. And when he didn't, she'd get red in the face and, oh, that was a shit of a foul. Ah! I mean, she was a lunatic. 
And I think of that, you know. You were and, traumatized by Well, no, no, no. Well, I'm, and I, no, not me. I was an observer. But I would say, what about her kid? Like, if he came, and let's say he had a bad game. He missed the, the ball, and he didn't hit anything, and he was he struck out all the times he went up to bat. See, I know all these terms. Um, oh, you he, take that? <laughs> you know all these terms. Well, struck out? Well, all up those to bat. terms, all those terms have made their way into the English language, know, so that were used I know, all I know. the time. But the point was, he would be trying like my mother. Yeah, yeah. I disappointed my mother yeah. because I struck out. Think of all the. I, this is more interesting to me. All right. Think of all the baseball terminology that is used as uh, idiomatically yeah, uh, by us sure. all. So, stop and think, stop and think. A strikeout or a... Well, I struck out with her. Yeah, right. Um, I got to first base with her. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Touche. Uh, um, but wait, why aren't I... Um... I would do that. That almost, that almost sounds like that could have been a Seinfeld thing, but I guess that's been a long, long around longer. No, there's got to be... There's so many more, and now, of course, I can't think of a one. Um, Come on, guys. Help me here. Baseball well, terms like triple and play can be like if you do a deal or something, and there's multi parts to uh, it. It's like a triple play. I yeah. think I think I think people would call that a hat trick more than they call it a triple play. Oh, do you know what hat trick is from? What sport? Uh, hockey. Good for you. See? No, I was forced to okay. know what these to be conversant. Not that I'm. Um, care, help me with the sports things I'm thinking of that I can't think. Out in left field. Yeah, right, 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 right. Okay, that's that was more the position, of, and that's interesting. And that's where that's you where always, always end up. Put, well, but that's, no because, that's where you the put the field, that's, where, the that's where you put the kid who can't. I know. So out in left field. Um, damn it. Okay, think of some more guys. I'll take a quick break. I want well, more. Well, well, we say a home run when someone. Does no, but I know. I want more like out in left field. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. Okay. Think. More is on the way with Lynn Cullen live. This week's Pittsburgh City Paper is available now. Pick up one today for a look at the campaign finance reports. Plus, with Khalifa, Yes, David Allen Co., The Space Pimps, and News of the Weird. Pittsburgh City Paper, available at over 1,700 locations throughout western Pennsylvania. And on the web at pghcitypaper.com. And on your smartphone with GPS-enabled listings at citypapermobile.com. Welcome to Move Time Radio, presented by the Arthritis Foundation, and we're smack dab in the middle of our dance-a-thon to fight arthritis pain. Me, I've been grooving for 10 hours straight, baby, but I'm a boogie machine. See, movement is just one of the ways to help fight osteoarthritis pain. Another is weight loss. You get rid of just one pound. That's four pounds of pressure off each knee. For more information on managing pain, visit fightarthritispain.org. Then meet me on the dance floor. This message brought to you by the Arthritis Foundation and the Ad Council. Have a question or an opinion? Call Lynn Cullen at 412-316-3381 or email lynn at pghcitypaper.com. Now, more with Lynn Cullen Live. This is where I'm reading, and we'll talk about this, but this person writes this, this you know, very thoughtful um, thing about police and what have you. And I don't know what you'd call well, this. And go, let, oh, wait, wait, wait. What? what? I just thought of, like, when a guy is... Yeah. First base. First base, second said. base, scored. Yeah. yeah. Scored, yeah. Scored. Yeah. First base, second base, third I mean, base, score. Scores any. What? People don't score anymore? I mean, yeah, but that's not baseball. Uh, no, probably more. Well, that's yeah, but you don't say, I, I got in the red zone. <laughs> you could. I was, it was first, uh, yeah, it was uh, first and, and inches. And go, first in inches, goal to go. You don't know what I'm talking yes, about. Yes, yes, yes. I know what you're talking about. Okay. But I don't think that's quite a... Susie wrote. Yes. I'll give I was one. just contemplating that police stop question. When I was in an accident about 12 years ago, I was asked where I was going and where I was coming from. Why? Is it legal for an officer to ask a question such as that? What does it matter? And do I have to answer? I think you're asking too many questions right now. You know, sometimes it's important to know our rights in a situation like that so as not to be bullied. However, not answering the question is an invitation to be bullied by a cop who is likely to behave that way. Just cur- No, absolutely. I, I subscribe to the theory that when stopped by a cop 
immediately go into uh, you know respectful yeah, right. yes or sure. no sir sure. mode sure. because if you just want to make it as easy an interaction as possible right. that's the way to do right. it and it you know it doesn't have to do with your skin color at that point or anything no, no, just that's true. do it if you if if your skin color is a problem then i suspect that being even more respectful right, is a right, good right, idea right, 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 i mean right. it ain't worth dying for no 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 well, what i was going to comment on i mean she's right but at the end of it she says you know that, that way just curious that is something i've been noticing more and more in, in our language how when we particularly when we say something that is um we think a harsh opinion or an opinion that may not be accepted, we'll say, well, just saying, or just curious. It becomes, I don't know what you'd call that grammatically. It's a way of sort of diffusing. You would call it a retreat. Well, yeah. A, retreat, a tactical a retreat. Right, exactly. Um, you know, as opposed to saying, I don't like your hair. Just right. saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know. It's supposed to ameliorate the sting a bit. Oh, that was nicely put, yes. Okay, so I was ta asking for baseball idioms, and we've come up on this end with batting a thousand, in the ballpark, and Bush League. Mm -hmm. There's a million more. Philip yeah. writes, who's on first? Oh, right. <laughs> Did you know that one? And he says, is there that a famous? funnier comedy sketch? <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a doozy. Oh, it's so Abbott hilarious. Abbott Costello, who's on first? And what's on second, wasn't it? <laughs> Don't ask me. I'll get started with that. Oh, and that. it goes on and on and on. And speaking of retreat, uh, <laughs> uh, Ray writes, all right, Lynn, I'm now going <laughs> to write like I talk. Listen. We have been waiting 20 fucking years for this. <laughs> and after all that suffering, it's kind of hard to listen to a bunch of hoity-toity shit on our party. <laughs> yes! Yes! Well, well, wait, wait, wait. Well, wait, 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 wait. This, the, Ray's, Ray's on a roll here. Ray's on a roll. Go he has roll many on. voices. I yes. like this one. This is something that has been handed to us from our dads and our dad's dad. And I'm sorry if some of you had a bad experience with your hands off, a handoff. Hand. But, but if I was you, I'd be mad at your dads, not the game. Not all of us have to make everything a complicated moral equation. Game comes from the word for fun. Well, I have two things to say to that. Number one, I've met Ray at a pub one time, and he didn't talk this way. So I think this is your... Uh, he has many voices. Oh, well, fine. But no, and I have to say more that that's, that is what it is. But you know, my father tried, and he was, you know, my father was, you know, a regular guy. He liked sports. He tried to do, you know, throwing pitches with me. So my father was very supportive. And I have to say, my parents were also, they didn't say, oh, you must... Yeah, but yeah. I mean, they never said to me, oh, you're bad because you don't like the sports or something. No, they were very supportive. But I'm talking more about cult the cultural malaise. How about on the fly? Oh, I don't think How about that's... off the bat? Oh, well, I don't know if that's one that's very common. On the fly more is about sort of, you know, I'm running, I'm on the... Huh? That's on the list. Oh. Off the bat? Off the bat, yeah. Okay. How about uh, on the fly? I don't know if that comes I'm still from trying baseball. to come up with... It's not. I know there's a million more. You guys are not coming through for me. <laughs> oh, they don't care enough. <laughs> Touch base. What? Touch base. Touch oh, that's base? Right. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, let me touch base oh, with you. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. Ha! Is there anything about a mound, pitchers? Something about pitching. There's got to be pitching. Um, oh, PJ, stop it. <laughs> Why? Everyone who disagrees with you about this. No, 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 no. I'm just saying certainly. PJ now has written, and he's <laughs> he's gotten off the phone, and I know this happens. Yeah, and, you, and he's why decided, didn't I say oh, such and such I didn't right. say that right. Oh, I, I mean, come on. I thought your call was perfectly, didn't you? Yeah, I did too, yeah. Okay, but here, PJ has a... a an addendum to his phone call. Sorry, I think that I made absolutely no sense. My phone call was no home run. <laughs> That's no. I, you're being way too self-critical. I may have struck out, 
My point is that it's gone from self-fulfillment to self-aggrandizement and or Mm. more often than not hero Mm. worship. I find it disproportionate. I would rather see the resources go to more cerebral efforts, not to mention coupling sports and the military. All right. That's a that's a thing I have that I don't like. I don't like the militaristic crap that goes on um, with team sports in this country. In what sense do you mean? By oh, that? if you go to a football game, all of a sudden they sing they sing the Spider Spang Banner and then like fighter jets fly oh, right, over. Right, 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 yeah, right. go ahead. Okay, Lynn. Yeah. George from Moon. All right, George. I think I got three for you. Okay. Oh, incidentally, I agree with everything you said, Tom. Oh, I had similar you. experiences. Oh, good. And I think Not it's good, just but, uh, but, the but. culture is over, way overdone. Yeah. Okay. You still there? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, uh, they're playing hardball. Oh, yes, uh, that's playing good. hardball or soft, okay. softball um, question. Uh, I, I can't. I can't even get to first base with her. Yeah, yeah, we, we get that, that one. one. Oh, you got that one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, hitting it out of the park. Hitting oh, it out yeah, of the right, park. Right, 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 there you go. That thanks. Yeah. So those are, yeah, okay. those are good. Okay, that's ones. good. Thank you. Those are good. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. And I'm telling you, there's more where that came from. No. Oh, I got one. <laughs> Born on third base and thought he hit a triple. What? That is Arcana, dear. No, <laughs> never, it's not. I've never heard. I don't even know what that means. What are you talking oh, yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, Andy said that before. Yeah, you know, it, 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 okay, somebody, like a lot, Republicans I have this oh. problem a lot. Let's say, <laughs> let's say you're doing just fine, you okay. know, and you don't acknowledge that that was because of government loans you got for this, of this and that. They don't, oh, right, they right, right, think yeah, they right. got where they got. All Through by themselves. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, so sure. you say born on third base, and he thinks he hit a triple. That he got this yeah, head yeah, start yeah, right, right, in right, life right, right. and actually think he earned his way over right, there when right, it's just right. where he started. Oh, someone just said some other just curious thing. But uh, um, Susie Q or whatever. This is for Tom. Tom, the just curious remark does have a special meaning. For me, the purpose is to eliminate the use of the narcissistic I, I, I. Oh, I see. Therefore, the I gets dropped. In other words, you instead of saying, I'm just curious or I'm just curious about, you just say, just curious. No, I think, but well, I disagree. No. I, I agree with Lynn. It's a way of dissembling. Oh, I've just said this really... Oh, but, but I'm just thinking about this. The, no, dissembling is like lying. It's no, a way well, of, it's a retreat. No, it's not. It's a, it's a white flag. It's it's a, a, yeah, it is a re- retreat, yeah. Like, yeah, oh, bye. It's <laughs> just a little, uh, yeah, a little Dis- step back. Disclaimer, so It's of. a step back. Yeah. Yeah, I think. A grammatical step back, and um, that would be that. Look what time it is. Oh, it's... We still haven't started the show. <laughs> <laughs> what did we do? No, it was, it was, a, it was a meal of a, a mousse-bouche, all of which were tasty. I don't bouche means mouse, but what... Oh, don't you when you go to a fancy restaurant now, yeah, like they you have order a salad, and it's become in vogue in the oh, last Oh, see, years. I don't go to these places. Where do they... Well, no, no, I mean, not every super, super fancy, but even a little more modest restaurants. And the idea, they always say... Oh, the chef has prepared a little amuse bouche, like to to to, uh, to amuse your mouth. Right. Well, to, to get your uh, yeah, but I mean, it's sort of to get you salivating. But the point is, oh, you don't have to pay for this. Ha, oh ha. yeah, 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 right. But it's you know, it's oh no, like I've seen that. They bring out a little thing, yeah, like or a this. spoon with uh, yeah. one olive in it or That's something. That's right. But you know, like, oh, you're know. not paying, of course. But the entree is twenty-seven dollars. You I, are paying for it. I didn't it. know that it was called that. An amuse amuse bouche. Amuse bouche. And obviously, it came from the French. But Amu- amuse your mouth. Yeah. I love that. All right, the but sun's you're coming for it. The sun's <laughs> or coming up. Or the other side, oh, this is a little more fashion, but they'll you know, bring you chocolates at the end after you've had dessert. It goes, oh, from the chef. Yeah, you know, right. Yeah. yeah. The dessert costs $40. Um, okay. Well, I, I hope you're amused everywhere you are. Thank you very much for <clears> listening to whatever the hell this was. Um, I'll be here tomorrow. I'm almost afraid to say it. Go Bucks. 
First of August. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that was a very short call. Lynn Cullen Live, Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. and archived at pghcitypaper.com. The opinions expressed on Lynn Cullen Live are those of the host and do not necessarily reflect the viewpoints of Pittsburgh City Paper, Steel City Media, and its advertisers.